Hey guys, welcome back to Bearcat Fishing, and today, special guest, Mr. Ryan Person, the president now of the Northwest Fishing Club, is going to talk to you guys today about his top, what is that, six? six his yeah. top six winter bass and baits for the Ozark region. Uh, I'm Ryan, I'm, I grew up around here on the Ozarks, uh, Bull Shoals, Table Rock, all those Highland Reservoirs, and those winter bass, like, can get finicky. One of my confidence baits just to cover water is a wiggle wart, a rock crawler, something with a big, slow, wide wobble. Um, they don't have to have rattles in them, but these rock crawlers have some tungsten rattles in them. Uh, really sharp hooks, too. Uh, just something that looks like a crayfish, something with some red in it. Red is a key in the winter, I think. Uh, just have a lot of confidence in these. Um, channel swings chunk rock that kind of stuff you're not going to be fishing wood with these they're going to get hung up in wood but around rock you can't beat them we caught a lot of large mouth over the past few days on these rock crawlers here and we did cover a lot of water with it a lot of bang uh the rod i throw it on this one is just a g loomis seven foot two medium heavy cranking stick um i like something with a deeper bend in it um just because those fish are not whacking the baits like in the summertime with a square bill uh, you're just skin hooking them sometimes and you don't end up pulling out those hooks with a good bend and a rod 10 to 12 pound line you don't have to be super finesse with it but it does help having that lighter line to get the bait down deeper and when it comes to those finicky fish the lighter line does the job um, up next for chasing fish that are on crayfish uh, would be a jig this is just a half ounce flipping jig. Um, really, I use this one year round, but it's got a bulkier profile. In the winter time, I either go small or I go big. And this is a full size rage craw on there. I like red when I'm doing crayfish stuff. So this is a Falcon Lake craw. Um, green pumpkin, reds, oranges, that kind of stuff are really helpful in the winter time, especially on those cold water bass. Um, Are you just using a medium heavy? Uh, that one's a seven foot heavy, uh, fast action rod, okay. 20 pound fluoro. I like to do a braid to leader. Um, up next would probably be a drop shot, just cause you can still cover water with it and it's a little bit finessier. And when those fish are suspended, get a good long leader on there. And I, we've really been catching them on crayfish type stuff so this is just a d-bomb a missile baits d-bomb cut in half i really like that bait as you can see it moves a lot it's real soft uh, the ribbing can't beat it uh, just something that you can fish anywhere from 10 to 30 foot of water really good on bluffs and transitions uh, this is just a six foot ten drop shot rod Another G Loomis. I like to do 15 pound braid, uh, 10 pound leader. Sometimes if it's really tough, I'll go down to eight. Uh, quarter ounce weight to three eighths ounce weight really is all you need. And then back on the small side would be a Ned Rig. Can't beat the Ned Rig, the dirty old turd. Um, green pumpkin, PB and J. This is a 3 16 ounce, just cause we're fishing a little bit deeper. But you get on those flatter lakes, you can get away with an eighth ounce. Wind has been really brutal to us over the past few days. Um, this one, I like a six foot rod just cause it's a little bit easier to manage. Um, 10 pound braid, mag light, light, medium light, whatever you want to throw. Um, and then eight to 10 pound fluoro is really all you need for that. And of course the jerk bait can't go anywhere without a jerk bait in the winter time. This is a Lucky Craft Deep Diving Pointer. Uh, I like this one because I can get it down to 10, 12 feet easily on a long cast. Uh, really loud, loud rattles in that thing. Um, I like whites, whites and silvers. They show up well in any watercolor. And if the fish are on shad or they're moving really slow, I can control how fast I'm working that bait just with my pauses. And when they're on shad, you can't beat something like a jerk bait. Uh, this is a six foot three medium heavy jerk bait series rod, uh, 10 pound fluoro, real simple. 
and then my favorite of all, video game fishing, just a slab spoon. White, chrome, gold, coleslaw, pink, whatever you want to throw. You get that in front of some fish on shad. Uh, you can drop it straight down or you can cast it and just let it pendle them back to you, yo-yo it back. Uh, brush piles, a slab spoon is a great bait because you are, you're not going to be losing baits as much as you would with like a jig and wrap or something like that and it falls a lot faster than a flutter spoon would. And I like a medium heavy rod, six and a half foot to seven foot. Uh, I do braid the leader still, um, and this is 15 pound fluoro, just for fishing those brush piles. This lake's got a lot of zebra mussels in it, so you're gonna get a lot of line preys on them. And that, that really is about it for the winter baits. Um, I do have some variations in those uh, wide wobble crankbaits. Um, the one I did show you was like a rock crawler like this one. Um, but my my all-time favorite is a, a wiggle wart. And if it's really cold water and they're, they're really sluggish, I'll put suspension strips on there so that when you're, that, boat, that bait is hunting along and you run into something, you can stop it and that bait will just sit there in place. Same effect as a jerk bait where that pause gets them. Um, and if they're really into that bigger profile, you're catching them well on a jig and you're catching them well on a rock crawler and you want to get a little deeper, you can go up to these uh, three quarter ounce wiggle warts. They call them mag warts. Um, these are just the stock trebles that are on them. But it's a good cold water bait when they're in that 12 to 18 foot range and you can cast these things a mile. Um, that's really it guys. It's not hard to really land on a bait to, that you have a lot of confidence in. It's really just covering water. Um, covering water on lakes like this, you're not gonna deal with the fact that the fish are only in one part of the lake. They're gonna be all over the lake. You just gotta find the pattern and just run with it all day long. What lakes uh, are you talking about exactly? Uh, Bull Shoals, Table Rock, Norfolk, uh, Beaver, any of those highland reservoirs, even if you go out to like Cumberland, uh, Kentucky Lake, those kind of places, those kind of baits are gonna come in handy for your deep fish and your, your shallow fish. People don't think the fish are gonna be in four or five foot of water. We caught several fish in four or five foot of water on crankbaits and they were quality largemouth. Um, and then it's the other way. Uh, people don't expect that those fish can get down to 40 or 50 feet. We caught some on a spoon this past week in that depth. And it's really just about finding something that you have a lot of confidence in and just sticking to it because it's gonna happen. It's just, the water's cold. It's not gonna be like fish in the summertime where it's bite after bite after bite. And you just gotta find something you can really run with. I hope you guys enjoyed today's small little episode on the top six baits that Mr. Ryan Person personally picked out for yes, these sir. Ozark lakes. We caught uh, fish, that's we, a fact. We did catch fish. Uh, you guys will see these videos, probably the next two videos of uh, us fishing bull shoals. Uh, day one, did pretty good. Ryan kicked my butt like crazy. Uh, day two, we kind of had a uh, little upset with the prop, but oh, well. you guys will just have to stay tuned and uh, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time on Bearcat Fishing.